So total body photography has now been shown in several research studies published in the leading journals uh, and also in major centres all around the world to do a number of things. Number one, you find more melanomas and we find them earlier. And that's key because the earlier we find the melanoma, the quicker we can cut it out and that leads to a higher cure rate for melanoma. That's the name of the game. At the same time, it reduces the number of unnecessary excisions. Because in the past, if we were a little bit unsure about something, you'd go on the side of caution and say, look, I'm not really sure, let's cut it out. And you see a lot of patients with exactly that story. You know, the doctor wasn't sure, he cut it out, and it wasn't too bad. And that's, that's, well, that was the right thing to do those days. Now we don't have to do that. We have the photography and we can look at the, uh, those lesions in detail on the camera, on the computer, and it will tell us what they looked like 12 months before. And of course that helps me make the decision. So it's now very unusual to cut something out that is benign. I see this um, almost every day that I'm in clinic where the, uh, the photography helps me find a lesion that is new on a patient at high risk of melanoma. And the power of the photography is that um, while the lesion looks the same as everything else on the patient's back, the computer says it wasn't there 12 months ago. And that stops me. And then I compare on the photographs and view that on the patient. And if they are at high risk, that lesion has to come off. And in the last two months, there have been two patients with exactly that scenario, and both of them had melanoma. Uh, they were both melanoma in situ, the thin melanoma, which is what you want, and they both had those removed, and they are, they are cured. That's the power of this technology.